All right, Marty, you've obviously played a lot of football over in Adelaide. The Swans go to play at AU Stadium this week. Can you tell me some of the differences between playing over there compared to here? Um, probably the biggest thing is the crowd. I think um, when I was playing at Adelaide there, the crowd were really loud and really vocal, I guess if you were playing for Adelaide. But on the weekend, it's going to be a flip side. They're going to be against us. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have to, I guess, a good start in the game and sort of try and get the crowds out of the out of the contest and um, yeah, like I said, if we can get a good start and sort of stick together as a good team and, and a group um, and just trying to get the crowd's influence. Do you think that'll give you a little bit of extra motivation having such a hostile crowd? Yeah, definitely. I think it does. Um, it creates another challenge for us um, going over there. I think they've played really well there the whole season and it's sort of they do really like to have that as a home ground advantage. So um, if we can, you know, create the challenge and um, go over there and, and, and sort of accept the challenge and go ahead with what we need to do. The Swans have played one game in Adelaide this season and had a win. How do you think the Swans football will suit Amy Stadium this week? Yeah, I think um, it's, a, it's an interesting ground. I mean, it's quite, it's quite long, but it's also quite wide as well. So, um, I mean, we, our game plan stood up in every ground over Australia. So, you know, we beat West Coast in West Coast. We've beaten teams in Melbourne, um, Tassie, even up here on the small SCG as well. So, um, I think it doesn't matter where we play, our game plan sort of showing that can stand up anywhere. So, like I said, we're going to be on our game this weekend against the Crows and, um, yeah, play our game. The team hasn't faced the Crows since round six this year. It's a, a very long time ago, I suppose, in the space of a year. What are you expecting from this week? Um, oh, very similar to, I guess, that game. Um, you know, their midfield played really well. They got into their forward sort of one-on-one -on -one contest and um, their whole forward line, I think, kicked a lot of goals. So... We're going to be on our game and it sort of starts, I guess, in every little area. I mean, if the midfield can get on top in their area and get it down to our forwards and create lots of one-on-one -on -one contests, it makes the job a lot easier. Um, and then the defensive group, if you know, we can get the pressure through the midfield and the forwards, it makes our job a lot easier in the defence. So I think it's just going to have to be a whole team effort, but each little group's going to have their own little battle as well. Just finally, you've had some really tough contests in the last month. Do you think that's put you in good stead for the final? Yeah, definitely. Um, like a, the results have probably haven't gone our way, um, but... A lot of the games we've sort of been, you know, Hawthorne and Geelong uh, and Collingwood were in, you know, within the game to by basically a goal or two within, you know, two or three minutes to go in the game. So take lots of positives out of the game, um, but still a lot of things that we can improve. And uh, hopefully uh, this weekend we can start training today.